Hello everybody, Ginger Shadow here, and welcome back to some more Digimobs New World Adventures with me, and um, we have visitors, and it's a good thing that they're over there and didn't come any closer, because I, um, I went AFK there, I went and walked the dog, and... Yeah, they absolutely could come over and kill me. I thought, yeah, no, I'll just stand here and let my Digimon stay out because then, you know, they'll, they'll get their age up a bit while I'm away and da, 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 Which I really need because time is a factor. Really good they didn't come over any closer and just kill me during that time. I mean, that would have been awkward. And, like, I'm pretty sure they see me. Like, they are there and they know it's they seem to see me. Like, yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. Anyway, yeah, I let the time pass over a bit, so go. Cool. Digimon are aged up slightly, which will make Digivolving a bit easier. Also, my mic slightly. Uh, there is another thing though. I was told about another thingy thing to try out from the comments. It was a Digi Spire? Okay. Um, I don't know where the item is though. But yeah, there's apparently a, an item that will basically help boost the Digimon, the different things, and it costs bits to upgrade it and stuff. I don't know exactly what it is, but I got a comment about it. So we're gonna take a quick see look and try and figure out what that's all about. It's apparently called the Bonding Machine. Which, um, that thing? It's not in here. <laughs> um, I got a comment. It was from the mod maker. Like, hold on. Apparently, bring it up. Uh, ba -ba -da. Bunny Machine. Sorry to take Digimon with a full evolution lane. As, it's, uh, as it used to be. But now you can use Bond to lock them. A Digimon's bond can currently go up when given certain bond items, depending on their types. And yeah, they basically, they basically like different things which you can get from various different trainers and things like that. Every 100 points of bond will unlock something new up to 500. It said bonding machine. Is there actually a machine? Or they're edging closer. I don't like that. Um, like, 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 like. Is it? I don't. I don't see a bit selling it. Currently, I'm not entirely sure what this bit is, but apparently it's a thing. Which I'm curious. I am curious about. I don't see something called bonding machine. Um, yeah. Either way, apparently it's a thing we could use to make our Digimon better. Actually, I don't know if it, it, it's in this version. Is it a different version? Am I just missing it? I'm not sure. Okay, let's put those two away for a second. Let's sleep really quick, cause I don't want to deal with them. They're not going anywhere. Still don't want to deal with them. Um, yeah, let's just go. <laughs> let's just go really quick in a second. Actually, wait before we go, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a shovel as well because it's bothering me the fact I don't currently have one. So that is something we can very easily, very quickly do. Iron shovel. Then we jump into this table. Flimsy handle. Basic handle. Wait. Oh, hold on. Uh, long handle. Yes, because the long handle is better. And then socket, it just makes it work it better. But there we go, lovely shovel, ready to go. Yeah, I still need to hold of diamonds and stuff to like upgrade our gear more. But that's whatever we can do that in all due time. For now, yeah, I, <laughs> I don't know what bonding machine things all about. I don't know if that's, is that part of a new like I think there was an update today. But I don't know if I had like anything like that included in it. Yeah, no, there is there is an update, but it says bug fixes, so I probably should update to that. <laughs> <laughs> that actually sounds like something would be useful because I don't know what bugs it's including because I Have we found bugs so far? Like we saw the spiral thing, but that got fixed already like I don't think we've seen anything about bugs, but anyway, uh, probably whatever bugs there currently are that would help fix cool Is there another? Actually, there's a bit there Hold on <laughs> Yeah, okay. Yeah, there's a bit there. I don't see the other right if it's active quest none Okay Completed quests Stats. None. Apparently quests in this. Okay. I feel like I've vaguely seen things that like I mentioned in the uh, the change logs, like certain quests getting fixed. I don't know how you trigger quests yet, but that is something we should definitely try and find out. Also, I just realized, uh, yeah, can you come to me? Because I, yeah, sorry. Sorry, I sorry, I left you behind there. Oh, spiral. Very, very tiny spiral. Murder! Murder the spiral! Yeah, go Coromon! We are much better at swimming than before. <laughs> oh, they're so much quicker. I mean, they're still slow swimming, but like, you know, they're, they're nowhere near as slow as what they were before. Which is great. But yeah, I don't really know what's going on with the whole... that bonding thing. Like... I see there's some kind of trick to this. I, just, I don't know what it is currently. 
<laughs> there's, some, there's something to it. Though. Maybe I'm just supposed to give them the items he's making. But it said machine. Does anyone know what, what, what they're talking about? I mean, not the mod maker himself might say as well, but like, you know, does anyone know what they're reading by the bonding machine? Is that a thing I'm missing somewhere? Wait, never mind. I was wrong. I was saying bonding machine, not machine. Mechanics. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, uh, no, no, it's not a machine, it's a mechanic, it's a bonding mechanic, meaning yeah, no, it is just get the items and give them to the Digimon. Okay, now it makes way more sense. I, I, I just, I just read the word wrong, because the thing is, I, I think when that comment was made, I was still quite sleepy when I first read it, <laughs> so my brain went bonding machine, and um, yeah, I sort of just, I sort of just skim read the top bit there, because I'm like, no, that is, it, I was looking for the other bit. I'm blind, okay? Uh, also, Karaman has now reached level 9. Which means, Karaman, if you'd like to come into the open for a second, I think... Oh, please don't tell me I can punish my own Digimon. I probably can. Um, Yeah, okay, so we need to go look at the traders and see what the situation with them is for items. So we'll go, we'll go look in the village and see if there's like, other traders that isn't just uh, armor one stuff. But yeah, Karaman! Digivolve 2! Not that. Wait, what? Oh, age six. What are you currently? No, you're age six. Fourteen energy. Oh, level eleven, not nine. Duh, blah, blah. Why was I thinking it's level nine? <laughs> I don't know. Oh well, here we are. I want to go check in the village to see what that bonding things up. At. We're gonna go look for traders. Oh wait, hold on. Oh no, wait. The mod maker did mention it. Well, it wasn't just um. I think it mentioned. Did you want traders? I think it mentioned regular uh vanilla. Villagers could technically have items as well, but they're like less likely or less like a lower tier or something Yeah, shepherd villagers can sell the first tier of items. Digimon vendors can sell all tiers Okay, I Don't know if we've got any shepherds and I also don't know if we even can technically get them because like, you know uh, I don't know if villagers are gonna spawn in other villages. They might because like bats are spawning and uh, Fish are spawning so villagers might spawn Possibly. Uh, but yeah, if they are, they are, if they're not, they are. But, um, which one's a shepherd again? <laughs> that's, that's a good question. That's a job I'm not as familiar with, um. God only knows. Well, that is something we can try to figure out at some point. Or we'll just find a village that happens to be on one already. But no, okay, alternatively, the better option would be finding a Agumon that is not a traveler, an Agumon that is a, some type of vendor. So yeah, you're an armor vendor, which... It's less than useful to me currently. Wait, actually, wait, how much? Yeah, 55 bits. Less than useful to me currently. Although, out uh, of curiosity, if I was to sell that, that's worth 10 bits. Cool. Uh, if I was to sell that, I just got from the spiral. Also worth 10 bits. Okay, what if I sold you a potato? No, it's just a potato. What about an emerald? No, not an emerald. Uh, what about some of this stuff? 15! Okay, I can get a lot of that stuff, like, from mining. If I just send some time mining, I could get, uh, get my money up that way. Err. Okay, okay, so we now know how we can get a source of bits. It's through the art of uh, manual labor. Fair enough. God, you travelers, there's a lot of you, isn't there? There's so many of you. Wait, what? Come on. Oh, there you are. So I wondering where he was there for a second. Um. What we got? Traveler. Weapon vendor. Sure, let's go take a look at him. Where's that? Fuck. This is what I got the shovel for. Uh oh. Eh. Carmine? I don't know where Carmine is. Alright, whatever. Uh, ba ba Silver blade. Da -da -da -da. Leaf dagger. Okay, so there are a couple of things in here. So, what we're going to do really quick is we're going to sell. Oh, oh, just. Oh, it flat can sell a bunch as well. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so yeah, I could just like plob all that on. Sell. 535 bits. So now, oh, and it lights up as well. I can have. So now I can have the blonde, the bronze blade, or the thingy dagger. Which, thanks to just enough items, we might be able to see what they actually do before we purchase them. Which is handy. Uh, we're, 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 we're the chicken dagger, the leaf dagger. Uh, delay with the uh, three damage. Okay, maybe it won't tell us because I did. Oh no, no, crit did you want? Actually, just say delay 130 to three damage. Okay, I'll increase your damage score by three. Okay. Then there's the bronze blade, which is that one, damage 13. That is much better than leaf dagger. But delay 233, whereas the leaf dagger is delay 183. I don't know what the delay normally is. There's also the lumber axe. Much bigger delay, but much bigger damage buff. Okay. Well, I'm gonna. I'll, I'll keep my money for now. 
keep my money for now, just so I can, you know, I can see if I can find a regular vendor, because they might sell, you know, they might, they might sell other things, they might sell the, the toy things for bonding mechanics that we're curious about, so we can, like, figure out how we're going to get him up to a different, I, I don't even know what I can do with him, but apparently bonding will unlock a bunch of stuff, which I, the creator mentioned, it's not just for digivolutions, apparently the bonding mechanics, it works kind of like certain Digimon games, where if you increase certain things with Digimon, they can get other benefits, or... I think, I, thinking of it, I think it reminds me of Digimon World, uh, Next Order, where basically uh, the you can unlock the stuff in the Digimon, but then as you leveled up, you could unlock stuff for yourself, so that you had benefits with the Digimon, because of you're having a strong bond and stuff. Like I think I think it, it kind of reminded me of that. Like so basically, yeah, if we keep getting bits and points and things, we can basically upgrade it so we get more benefits. So for example, a wild Digimon becoming an egg when it dies rather than just dying. That is one of the benefits to get given as an example. I don't know what other benefits there could be, but I'm curious to find out. Also, how am I going to get out of here? The smart way, that's how. <laughs> There's going to be a bit of sand, we're just going to do it with. Excellent. Um, right. Well, I guess I'll have another little nosy around the village and see if I can find any more vendors. Oh, ball out. And I also just got my pickaxe honed. Or, ready for honing. Oh, hello. No, you are a vendor. Which, which vendor? Oh, here we go. Items. Um. I, <laughs> um. Okay. I don't think any of these are uh, items for bonding. I think these are items for digivolution and then bites and chips. Probably. Uh, holy data, though. That is one that's interesting because I believe I, I looked at a thing over here. And yeah. Uh, the large Digicore gives you a 50% experience buff while you're using it. And that is made of for Holy Data, which is then made of Digicores. I don't know if you can still get Digicores like in the old days, but yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, that vendor. What kind of vendor are you? Show me your name. You're just called vendor. Okay, so yeah, just vendor. That that that's that's what we need to look for. Cool. Totally do that. I do wonder also, can we just kill the traveler? If we kill the travelers, like we will that help us spawn new things or <laughs> <laughs> Should we kill the travelers? I think we can do it. I tried messing with one previously, but Algamon obviously a vaccine types, and Gilmon is obviously the virus type, so... It wouldn't work out well for us if we tried it like that, but Coromon, on the other hand, he is a data type. I mean, he has a distinct advantage against, like, Savagomon. Because... Thank you, Dog. I can't, I can't look at your stats, goddamn. <laughs> but yeah, I can see you get 34 health, and I can see that Coromon's get 98. And we are got a much higher level. Well, wait, you're a vendor, though. No, wait, don't kill that one. This is one of the good ones. Actually, hold on. No, wait, we can do better, even. Because, like, yeah, there's level one ones. There's level one Argomen floating around. Murder! Also, get ready for retreat for Nito. Never mind. He's very powerful. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that answers that question, then. I believe I tried this previously, and I believe it didn't work. Yeah, yeah, because the auto heal, that's why. Excellent. Okay, that answers that question then. We don't know how to do that. Don't do that in future. Unless we can one-hit them. Don't do that. What's actually just a check? I just looked at weapons. What does the armor do? Armor. 50... Da, da, da. Okay, so I'm guessing it just adds, like, a def uh, extra... I don't know if it would just be adding, like, flat onto your defense stat, or whether it's just, like, you know, adding... Certain bits of damage. I, I don't know. I don't know what the mechanic is going on there, but like, okay, it doesn't say just it reduces damage by a flat or anything like that. So it's a little some kind of mechanic going on where it will affect your how much you get hurt. Cool. Uh, part of my brains now. Like, I really should go back to weapon vendor and get like an actual weapon because I can give it to my Digimon. They can kill things quicker, and then we can get upgraded quicker. Oh uh, yeah. Also, before I do anything else, do honing. Uh, that will get my pickaxe quicker. And X and thing and thing and yeah, okay, so now we can take the iron pick part and we can give it efficiency, for example. That'll make our mining speed a little bit quicker. It's not a huge buff, but it'll stack as time goes by. Plus uh thingy. Uh, we, uh, it'll, I I'll mine things quicker now, meaning I can now uh upgrade again quicker because I'll be hitting things quicker and or uh, breaking things quicker. Oh my god. Why is it this village had to spawn like the holiest of holy places? Like, <laughs> it couldn't have just spawned in a nice flat area, could it? It had to spawn bits where there's holes fecking everywhere. And the Argoman obviously decide they want to jump down every damn hole in existence. 
Yeah, yeah, they do. We're gonna fix the area with Zalagai. Plus, it's an enormous village. <laughs> this village is huge. Where, where the feck is the bit I might be going to that has the weapon guy? Because I'm assuming he's, sti he's sticking around. Where is it? It's over there, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. Okay, head for there. Yeah, this looks right. Here we are. Whoop -a -doo. And weapon vendor. Hello. So, sorry, sir. I would like to buy. Go with the blonde blade. And there we are. And that should help us get a little boost with our Digimon. Which actually, thinking about it, I was told, I think, I think the mod creator, it might have been the mod creator said this one. Uh, do I uh, give your Digimon even just like normal weaponry? Because that might help as well a little bit. So maybe I should like make iron swords and like see if that helps. Because I don't know if it does currently. Because I don't think it says on the blade like when hell with Digimon or anything, but. Oh yeah, it does! Oh, it literally tells you! Oh! Yeah! It, it literally says. When I quit Digimon. Yeah, so delay. So it helps with attacking and stuff. So I, I, I guess it affects their default attack speed. Maybe, possibly. Dum -ba -dum. Don't know. Anyway, yeah. So if I give them an iron sword, then where's the iron sword? I would increase damage by nine. So, yeah, probably worth doing that. Right, so wait, does it say the same with armor? No. Okay, the armor doesn't say when equipped with Digimon, it provides. I know! I know! Gold does! Oh, it's just a chest play! Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, okay. Uh, Chainmail doesn't work. Diamond does. Leather does! Yeah, it was providing some level of benefit for Gilmon. Now, it's not anywhere near as strong as the actual uh, Digimon armor, because they were providing like plus 40 and 50 benefits, but. Yeah, like, it's providing something. So, yeah, if I make, uh, if I make iron chest plates for both of them. And knight them up a little bit. Yeah, they'll they'll be better equipped for handling whatever stuff we're gonna do. So yeah, Coromon, out you come. Coromon, please, please stop 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 Coromon, stop Are you still trying to fight? Is that it I just saw Argomon come running over it. Is that the same Argomon we were fighting a second ago? Are you still trying to fight with him? Please don't. <laughs> you will kill him. <laughs> and he, it, it took out more than half his health in one go. Uh, inventory. The bronze blade has been donned. The iron armor has been equipped. Excellent. Also, Gilbon. Where are you? There you are. Blah. Stand up. Stats. Inventory. Get it thick. I apparently already had an iron sword on you. Well, damn. Well, anyway, here's better armor. Wait, can I give him a shield as well? Is that a shield? No, I think that's just a, that's an upgrade mechanic thing. That's like a, if I was giving it a, one of the digicore things. Yeah, okay, no, we don't need we don't need to use that. But yeah, okay, there's a bunch of little things you can be doing. Which are did you want if you have shovel shows? Also oh yeah, wait, has everyone looking for food? Because like I haven't I haven't I haven't looked at you guys in a while. I actually left you sitting down for like a really long time without feeding you, so yeah, three way and AC, you're actually fighting Coromon. I don't know why you're fighting. Oh. Coromon made noise. Why? Why do you make noise that time? There's probably a good reason for it. Bonding, perhaps? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, no! Oh, yeah! Yeah! It's his favourite food! That's why! Oh! It, it, I, I don't know if that helps with bonding, but maybe it does. Whatever the case. Right, I'm going back to grinding now. You get Cormac a level up so he gets his health back, but, um... Yeah, okay, I'm curious to see what his damage output's looking like now that I've got... a weapon and that on him. And, I mean, he's got armour, which... I, I don't know if Iron Arm will have much of an effect, but I mean, I guess weak opponents, like level 3s and stuff, maybe, maybe it'll, like, recurse the damage by a little bit. I guess bigger points, maybe it'll reduce it by just one or two points, that could, could be a difference maker, you never know, it's worth giving them something. Oh, so, there's a B there. Cool. Come here a minute, come here, come here. No. I'm going to click the B with this, I want to sleep. <laughs> it looks like a B's collected honey, oh, okay, hold up, come here, come here. No, that's nothing. Okay, I was just curious. I just wanted to try it as a joke. I just wanted to say, well, I didn't expect it to do nothing, but you never know. We might have done something silly. Okay, Coromon, battle. That's seven damage. Wait, did I even do anything back to Coromon? Oh, wait. I don't, I don't think it's doing. I don't think it can do any damage back. I think a Coromon's like at higher defense. It literally does no damage. Oh wow. Okay, that makes life a lot easier. So yeah, to know it doesn't actually like show the stat difference or anything. It doesn't like show any benefit of that, but apply I guess it applies it into the like the damage mechanics and 
defense mechanics. And yeah, because the Coromon is now just taking zero damage when he's fighting against these weaker punts because his defense is just that high because of that Iron Chest Plate. That's, that's very handy. It's a handy little mechanic for fighting weaker opponents because, I mean, yeah, it makes sense. Weaker opponents against a stronger opponent shouldn't really be able to do anything. It also means that you can't do that thing where, like, you physically beat down a level 100 Digimon to, like, 1 HP and then let your Digimon get the final blow just so you can try and get items off it because... Um, yeah, your Digimon are now doing no damage. That's it. That's a good way of countering that. <laughs> also, somewhere during that, Coromon just got 2 HP back. Huh? Don't know why he did, but he did, apparently. Okay. Oh, God, the Lutras are back. Why? Why are you back? Why are you like this? God damn it. <laughs> they've reappeared. They've reemerged. They want to fight, but I don't want to fight. I, I don't want to deal with you. Leave me alone. I said it so, like, I said it in Digimob so the, uh, Postamobs won't spawn, but because they're, like, an event thing, they're, they're set to, like, spawn, not due to regular spawn mechanics, but due to whatever event thing triggers an Illager appearing. I guess because we're near a town or something. I don't know. Either way, the feckers are going to keep showing up, aren't they? I said to be careful not to trigger them and have them come at me because I, I'm not equipped to fight. <laughs> like, I have an axe, but there's three of them with crossbows. Bosh. I have a liner. Yeah, I guess it's the spirals are the ones now that give you, uh, essentially infected Digimon lit. Okay. But, like... I guess... I, I don't... I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know, we're on a baby area. I was spirals don't seem to be aggressive or anything. Then that's baby area spirals. Maybe a, a older spiral, like, bigger spirals might be aggressive. Like... That's something we need to figure out. Like... Why have we stronger Digimon? Come on, how close are you to level 11? You're getting there. Okay, as soon as Carmen is level 11, we're digivolving him, uh, which it's probably not advantageous because he's going to turn to Black Oglemon, which in turn will be another virus Digimon, which is not what we need, but I, I want to see Digivolution in action, so <laughs> we're giving it a go, because I, I, I don't know if I remember, like, I, I don't know if it got changed in his version or something. Like, that's something I need to double check to be sure, because I feel like I remember something happening when you did your vote now, but I'm not sure entirely. Oh, there's our level up. Okay. Get out of the way. What on earth did I have sitting there that's now out of the way? I don't know. Anyway, Kuroman! Digivolve! Also, is anything saying anything here? No, it's, it is mentioning the fact that there are potentially other Digimon slots you could go to. Anyway, come on, did you move? Black, I'll go. It does! It does a shell thing! Yo! Yes! It does have a different transformation thing! I did, I did, I did remember correctly. That is a thing! Oh. <laughs> I so much killer! And yeah, okay, now we get Black Agamon, a virus, fire, dragon, Saxon, and Gilmon. So, pretty useless. Uh, I've got Black Agamon S. And now he's got no evolution line. Okay, so this is the point where uh, doing the bonding thing would be necessary. So, Agamon, for now, I'm going to have you retreat back into this. I just wanted to see how the evolution thing looked, which, yeah, it's looking good. But, um, yeah, now without the bonding thing, I don't, I don't know I don't know how to progress exactly. So, we're going to go, I guess we'll head home. No, wait, we'll get Gilman up on our level or two. Then we'll go home. We'll head to that village that's near our place. And, hold on. Agamon. Yeah, hand that over, please. Thank you. Uh, yeah, now you can go back in there. Back in the blue pill. There we go. Yeah, I might, I might get Gilm on the sword. But yeah, we'll check the village uh, next to our place, and then we can see if like there's any vendors there that sell these items for thingy magic for bonding. We can see, try to see. We can start to see if we can figure out how that works a bit. Also, Gilm on test time, test time, test time, test time. Oh wait, hold on. Block. There we go. Uh, Gilm on test time. So you are currently at level twelve. And boom, 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 boom. How much damage do you do to this level three if you were to fight it? You currently do. Like, 22 damage. Awesome. Now what if I give you this even better sword? Because, you know, I think it's like an extra plus 10. Like, that one's plus 19. Wait, is it? Go on. Hand over a second. <laughs> I'm really sorry about this. I just gave it to you. So oh, it's plus... It's only a little bit stronger, but yeah, it's still something. It might, it might increase his damage by like an R1. I'll take it. If it means he's killing the things ever so slightly quicker. Which, I mean, you might not be, but... Whatever. Anyway, murder. You did 22. This thing has 35 health. You missed. Feck. Oh, yeah, no, he did more. Yeah, he did 36. Oh, sorry, he did uh, 16 that time. 
Wait. Oh, no, wait. The spiral had more... Uh... <laughs> the spiral had more HP, didn't it? Wait. What did we do before? Again! How much damage do you do? Stay still, yo. Yeah, you're doing 16. What was it before? Well, we can find that one out, because we can take... That off there and that in there. God, I'm bad at remembering these things. Uh, as long as it's not a spiral, though. That was at 20 HP. Useless. What about you? 31. God damn it! <laughs> I need to find one with the same health stat as the old one. Well, no! No, I don't, actually! Wait, no, that's not true. I just have to kill one, because... Like, well, 38, there we go. Like, we just have to see the number go down. We did 16 before. That one did... You did 22 that time! Wait, what? That, that's not math! What? Kill that one. That one's get 35, the same as the other ones did. What did you do that time? You did 16. Then you did 26. Oh, because it was a crit. Oh. <laughs> oh, that makes more sense. Uh, yeah, kill kill that. 21. You know, Gilmar, maybe I just give you the big sword and you just go for it, mate. Because your numbers are all over the place because you keep fecking... The... Yeah, just take the bigger sword. Just, just take it. Just take it. Whatever. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm not going to try and figure out your numbers now. Because <laughs> clearly I can't. You keep randomly just doing more. I see you just killed that one with a crit that time. Is there a damage range? Like... Oh, well, no, actually, now I think about it, it's probably using the Digimon, the ones we're fighting stats, isn't it? Like, some of them may have lower defenses, maybe? I don't know. I don't know if that is the case or not, but either way, Gilmon leveled up. Go! Yeah, let's go home. Okay, good. Our unwanted guests have left. Excellent. Uh, right, okay, there is a village. Uh, Gilmon, out you come. You can follow after me. Du -ba -du -ba -du. Let's go check this village over here and see if it's got any Agumon that want to trade particular stuff with me. And then, yeah, we're going to have to, like, at some point go do the hiccups. Uh, we're going to have to go do uh, a bit of mining at some point to get extra DG metal material. What the fuck? How is this? What? There you go. Oh, it's Farmer's Delight. It's rich. Okay, I was so confused there because I'd never seen that before. Excellent. Oh, our village is here. Okay, yeah. So villages still spawn even if you've got thingy magic. You can get it set so uh, mo uh, mobs don't spawn. I just I assume that just means there's not animals floating around like cows and stuff, even though there are still fishing bets. Oh, there's one. Fender, level 17. Yeah, don't fight with him. Don't fight with him. He'll kick her ass. Oh, yeah, wait, yeah, here's some stuff. So, okay, there's a Digimetal of Sincerity. Awesome. Uh, let's LD screen that. We don't care about that, no. But we do care about that snowboard. That is a sports item. Which means it is one of the things. It costs 35 bits, which get got... You got to buy a lot of them, basically. Okay. And then, yeah, there's a couple other random things. I don't actually know what they fully do yet, but whatever. So, wait, what was it? Modmaker's comment once again. That like Digimon like card game uh like games like card games, CDs, etc. Virus Digimon like sports stuff like kickboard, skis, etc. Okay. And then uh vaccine Digimon like electronic devices like wristwatches, uh toy digivice, cell phones, etc. And then uh Every one hundred points of bond will unlock something new. Up to 500, including the ability to, for Tame Digimon to not permanently die if killed. Okay. So, like, we have a virus Digimon in the form of Black Agumon. So, we could buy some soul bubble. Well, first, we could sell the rest of this. Sell. Then we could buy some snowboards. Because I don't see any reason not to. Um... Yeah, it gives us 16 of them. I have no idea how effective these are. We're about to find out. Uh, oh, God, there's more vendors. Wait, what? Hello. Hi. 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 What have you got? A CD player. Okay. I uh, got I've got the Digimetal of Love. Cool. Oh, these guys are so useful. This is a much better way of adding some of this stuff in. Because before, I was like, you had to, like, kill specific bosses at, like, super high levels and to get stuff. Or you had to kill Digimon with, like, a really low chance. Now you just have to, like, go around villages and find vendors that sell stuff you like. I didn't get the money for it, which you'd get naturally through playing in things by selling stuff. Yeah, I like this system way more. <laughs> it gives a lot more use to the villagers as well. It gives it you can technically have a lot of Digimon that just, you know, trade things, which is fun. 
Um, plus, yeah, you can add a bunch of other really cool items in, which is... Yeah, this is just a, this is a fun mechanic. I like this. There's also probably a way to abuse it, but I haven't figured that one out yet. Like, <laughs> the second you start including money in uh, sale transfers and stuff like that, there's, there's probably a way you can abuse it. Okay, there's probably some kind of easy item out there you can, like, buy off them and, like, get tons of it. Well, actually, no, I'm saying that. Technically, Digimetal, if you get, like, an um, item or a mod in that lets you, like, mass dig areas that can collect the Digimetal, then, yeah, technically that could abuse it. But, like, that's not so much the Digimon mod itself. That's more you're adding extra mods to abuse it. But, yeah, unless there's, like, a Digi item that spawns that's, like, super common and you can get a hold of that sells revenge, like, yeah, there's, there's pro it's probably fine, isn't it? We'll keep an eye out. <laughs> right. So. Quickly sleep for a second. Um... Is it worth getting our bond up with Gilmon? I mean, yes, because he's a beautiful boy. But, I, I don't know. He's our starter, so he might already have a... Like, he, he might already have, like, a full line, and thus... So, I don't know if there's any point to it. It did say there were other benefits to increasing bond up to 500 points. I just don't know what those other benefits would be. But, okay, well, we've got 16. I, let's, see how, let's see how far that gets us. So, if we summon this lad... There we are. Then if I tell him to sit because the fecker keeps moving. Stop crawling along the floor in your ass. Uh, right. So. Badu. Oh, now you like steak. Oh, wait. Hold on. Could... Could be... Oh, no. He just said munch, munch, munch. What? Gilman never said munch, munch, munch. Is it because he's, cause he's special? <laughs> Could be. Okay. Uh, how about this? Badu. 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 What'd that do? <laughs> Is there anywhere I can see? Oh, there, oh no, no, it's right there. 124. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I'm see, I'm see, I'm, I'm noticing things now. So wait, where's Gilmon's bond at? 150. Noise. Out of curiosity then. Stat, 124. Still 124. Did, did that go off his crow when I fed him bread? I don't know. What does one of yous give him? Four. Okay, so it's not a lot. You have to buy a lot of them. Yeah, you'll need your bits. You'll need a lot of bits. But yeah, Digivolve. Currently nothing. All right, give them the rest of these. Wah! Then stats. Hundred thingy thing. Okay, now what we're going to do. Degenerate. Coromon. Sit. Stats. Thing is still 164. Coromon. Munch, munch, munch. Still 164. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, it's fine. Okay, so I don't know what he started at. We gave him 16 of those. They gave him plus 4 each time. So that's an extra 64. So his bond started at 100 then. And he just gained 64 from that. Okay, cool. That answers that question then. Uh, so I guess I'll need to get him an hour bunch if I want to get his bond up more. I, I just wanted to check and see if that was if that, if that could have worked. Um, can I give you one of these to get your energy back up? Did you both? Oh, come on. Yay! Awesome. Awesome. Sit! <laughs> what do you mean, no? Sit down, you. Okay. So, right, with that done. Uh, what have I got to sell? I do actually have some more of this. I could sell some more. That is possible. Uh, I don't think I'm getting our Digimon stuff currently. So, yeah. And I don't sell our regular... Items from our world, or we don't we we, we don't sell those. Uh, we can kill well. Did you want to get stuff from them? So if we could get some rare items, we could potentially sell those for a bit more. But yeah, oh yeah, we got potatoes too. We can start a potato farm at last. Yay! Uh, that'll be help me with food. Uh, so you probably get bread just for training purposes. But yeah, also you are a data type. We are from the Beast Clan thing, which I think beats the Dragon Clan. Ooh, so I probably shouldn't fight you. Of Armadillomon. He looks like he'd be from the Beast Clan, though, as well, doesn't he? I'm just trying to think if there's any Digimon around here I can actually fight. Hey, but oh. He is free type and from the Beast Clan. Yeah, so we get no advantage against him. Armadillomon will have an advantage against us, in fact. I may have to go to a different biome if I want to find enemies to fight, because, uh, yeah, I've got virus Digimon. I need data types, which. I think in the past, I used to go to machine areas, because, uh, the dragons beat machines, if I remember correctly. And. Uh, yeah, Virus obviously beats Data Type. And a lot of the machines were also Data Types. Again, if I'm remembering correctly. Now, which biome did the machines spawn in? <laughs> uh, that is a good question. I'm not entirely sure yet. We need to go travel around and have a look for... 
the sureties. Because, like, looking at the situation, dragons seem to be these seem to spawn in the desert. Uh, things like Argon and stuff we've seen in the desert, so... I assume we do? The plains map seems to spawn a bit of everything. Like, coral... Uh, that was a good... Well, actually, no, wait, maybe... Maybe you're spawning from... In the desert as well. Oh, wait, did you used to spawn the dragon area too, now I think about it? Did you used to spawn the dragon crag? I can't remember. Fake. But either way, we've made progress. Uh, there was a bit of confusion at the start, mostly due to my inability to read a full sentence properly. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that was it was a, it was an honest mistake. I was tired when I first read it, and like you know, I I just I read machine instead of mechanic, and then my brain just defaulted to that's what he said, so I didn't like reread it. Because why would I have read it wrong the first time? Ah, <laughs> oh, the bot, the bot. Yeah, okay, that, 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 just, just, just ignore that first part of the video where I'm just so confused and saying the wrong things and blah, blah, blah. Okay, I've got a load of this stuff here now. I'm thinking, with what I've got here, I might be able to afford enough to get over 200 bot. And then we see what's ha- uh, Oh, once we go over 200 bot, I just want to see if anything changes. Uh, if nothing changes, then I'll just have to wait and I'll just do another... How, how do we want to focus this? Do we just go mining or... Well, yeah, I need to go mining anyway with diamonds. But yeah, I should try and make an enchant table so I can, like, enchant my gear. So it's a bit better. Because, <laughs> uh, it's a bit lacking. Without the old enchantments, but... Uh, yeah, no, I can go mining, look for diamonds, grab obsidian and stuff, upgrade my weapons and the gear a bit. No, less weapons and more just my gear in general. I can upgrade their weapons, potentially, if I can get more beats and stuff, but... Me. For now, I think top priority is get my, my, my gear in order... Uh, get my mining gear in particular order, because we're after a lot of mining for our DG metals, so... Manual labor! <laughs> That'll be how we get stronger, well... To begin with, uh, like, later on we can kill more random Digimon, and hopefully the higher level ones will just give us more stuff. I don't know. Oh, there's... Galmon! Uh, also from the Beast Clan, also Data Type. So, again, one advantage, but then we lose another advantage. Bum ba dum ba dum Also, the, uh, the Agamons from here... They sort of make me think of the, um, the Kecleons from the Mystery Dungeon series in Pokemon. Where if you, like, you try and rob them, they, like, mess you up. A.K. in this, in this context, we try to attack them. They mess us up. Because <laughs> they're so freaking strong. Uh, I don't know if that is, like... That's just where I, that's just where my brain's going, anyway. Also, I think it's this vendor here had them. Yes. Uh, yeah, Snowbird, here we are. So, we're gonna sell you a stack of this. So... Then, it was at 64, to give 4 per thing, so we need an R36, which is, what, 9 of them? Yeah, it'd be 9. We're gonna buy more than 9, but you know. Well, we need 9. There we go, I'll get, I'll get an R16. Awesome. Uh, I can also technically buy Digi cores. that could get us thingy magic. That could build us towards getting that 50% booster. But very expensive, because you need... Well, it's four, the, four holy data. Four holy data. One holy data is made of nine. So you need like 3,600. So doable. If we do, if we get like stacks and stacks of Digimetal, it's definitely doable. <laughs> That's it. That's the trick to it. Just lots and lots of manual labor and we'll get the stuff we want. Okay, and this will get us to 200. Uh, yes! Alexa tells us in the chat. 200 bonds. You did evolution thing unlocked. Badoom. Dark Tyrannomon has been unlocked. Awesome. So wait, what if we get your. Thing up. We are 22 away, which requires an R6, which we could totally do, because, 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 yeah, they're not that expensive. I should just leave a bloody marker. Actually, hold on. Gilmon, come with me. <laughs> return, Gilmon. Actually, for the, yeah, just, just, just uh, I'll go on return as well. There we go. But yeah, Gilmon's already my partner. He's already got a full, like, oh, wait, hold on. Can he even get another line currently? Because I've got an Everliner. Maybe if I give him the Everliner first. Oh, I need to look at their. I need to look at their stat things again and see what what it says here. Because like, it doesn't say what the Everliner does. But 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 if it still works like it used to, the Everliner uh, introduced an open line. It never had anything in the line, but it introduced an open line that you could technically get more Digivolution evolutions on. Although it was really hard to fill out that line before. Mostly you just end up using like an item on it or something to like get that Digivolution line. But, yeah. Okay, so... Gilmon, out you come. Gilmon! Return. That's bear. Um, right. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is... 
One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nothing was said. Okay, so yeah, it may be useless on him. I was just wondering if he'd get a different benefit. I forgot to give him the Evil Laner first. Blah. Nothing happened. Hold on. Black Agumon, where are you? But did you both? Now the things look the same. It looks like it potentially could be a new lane up here, but like, yeah, it doesn't. Doesn't show anything. Oh well. Yeah, I don't know how the mechanic for like getting a new Digi lane technically would work. I I, I thought maybe giving one to Gilmon there might introduce like a new potential champion, but then thinking about it, does Gilmon even have an alternative lane technically? Like. I don't know. I, I can't remember. I feel like Agumon. Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, wait. Maybe I should have... Maybe I should have given the Everliner to Coromon. Then I could have, like, tried to convince them to get... Agumon lane? Wait. Hold on. Oh. A new lane got unlocked. Wrong. Wrong Digimon. A new lane got unlocked. Or a new Digimon thing got unlocked. Technically, though. Technically, though. Technically, though. Technically, no. Um, If we generate back down to Coromon... No, it's still a straight line. Yeah, so if I give him the Eveliner... Feck! <laughs> I've wasted it! Because, uh, yeah, they already had open lanes, apparently, but it didn't, it didn't show anything. But, uh, yeah, Coromon, he's set... This is his lane currently, but we know Coromon can become Agumon, Agumon S, Black Agumon S, Toy Agumon, like, a whole bunch of different stuff. Uh, but that said, it doesn't... Uh... Looking at his line here as well, it says Champion 104. I mean, potentially could turn to four different champions. Six different ultimates and four different megas. It doesn't say anything about his um, rookie level. Oh, feck. <laughs> no! Why did I do that? Feck! I need to give him energy now. I'm not getting energy things. Oh, no! Uh, how, how hungry are you? Not at all. Uh, what if I give you a bit of bread, though? Will that get, will that get, your, get your energy up any... Well, I've royally fecked this up. Okay, I'm going to have to go, go murder things. Hold on. Just go back in there. <laughs> Why did my brain do that? Why did I click that? That was so stupid. Whatever. I've sabotaged myself. But um, my, my brain was like, I need to check out Gilmon. Not you. Yeah, okay. Gilmon, it says. One, two, four. One, two, six. One, two, four. Same as before. But it also said free slot one. I don't know how that free slot works. Also, don't do that again. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to the thing. Uh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. So, I don't know if you can, like, switch over lines for rookie levels. Maybe if I had given an Eveliner, maybe that could have worked, but yeah. Oh, that's stuff to experiment with in the future. If we get a hold of more Eveliners, we can test it. If we level up more, we can test and see if new branches open up. We can try. I just have to go mining. I just have to uh, buckle down, go mining, get a load of raw materials. If I got a load of raw materials, I can buy a load more resources and get bond levels and stuff up. So yeah, the potential's there. So but I'm gonna we're on the right tracks, I think, maybe hopefully. <laughs> but anyway, I think that'll do this for today. So thank you all very much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the show and hopefully I didn't confuse too many people with my shenanigans at the start. Um uh, yeah, so bonding mechanics, new part of 1.16 update thing. And yeah, it is very it's very interesting. It gives you the chance to basically because Normally, if you catch a wild Digimon and it sucks, it just sucks, and you have to go through and like a just absurdly lengthy, like stupidly long, like you know, thing of trying to like make him better. Like you have to like just basically find the Digi Matrix things and give up and put in his line stuff, and those are really rare. And blah. no, now you just have to make friends with them properly and uh, pay money. And uh, I mean, technically, maybe you can find items like from killing things, but I think that I think the way the, the maker said it, it's like they're from the vendor. But yeah, you pay money. And you buy friendship, and with that, they become better friends with you. I appreciate you, but the bonding goes up, and they unlock new Digimon powers, which is very in line with how Digimon works, where, you know, Digimon become friends with their owners, and thus Digivolve, and... It all makes sense some way or another. But yeah, it's a very cool mechanic, and very interesting, because now we can catch wild Digimon, and they're not going to suck, or I'm not, I'm going to have to catch, like, 20 of them to find one that doesn't suck. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Right, anyway, for now, thank you for watching. See you next time for more of our Digimon New World series. Go! Bye, everybody. Da, 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 da. Also, just want to say a quick thank you to all of the channel members for the extra support and a special thank you and shout out to our late members, the Johnny members, Sebastian Ramsey 
Alexander Zero One and Isaac Washington and our Anbu member Monster Q. Thank you all very much for the extra awesome support. But 